last summer, I got to attend a minor league baseball game. It was through producer Mike's employer, so we sat in a private section reserved by the company. This may all come as a surprise, since I haven't given any indication that I'm a sports nut, and I'm not, but if you've watched this channel for a while, you may have guessed that I don't get out much. So believe me when I say I had a wonderful time. It helped that the weather was just about perfect. In fact, at some point in this video, I'll share a few pictures taken with my phone. At the time, I didn't have much in the way of topical collaging materials, but I recently got my hands on a local magazine that had one or two related ads. That, in addition to the tickets, a small booklet acquired at the ballpark, and some ephemera that just made me think of baseball, was the motivation for this collage session. You see, I don't hate baseball. It's actually one of the few team sports I enjoy watching, but that's usually on TV. As far as attending a game, that's been merely a handful of times. Twice at Safeco Field, well, now called T-Mobile Park, and once at the Old Kingdom. All Seattle Mariners games, of course, until this one. I've just got to get this out of the way. I live in the South Puget Sound area, but even I'm not sure how to pronounce Cheney Stadium. Is it Cheney? 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 But that doesn't really matter, because the venue itself is great. Originally built in 1960, it had a pricey renovation in 2011, and I had no complaints. Uh, in fact, now would be a good time to share those pics I mentioned earlier. As I said, our group had a reserved space on the party deck. That included counter seating, tables and chairs, and a covered concession area at the back. Sure, it was the outfield, but that suited me just fine, as there was a relaxed, chill atmosphere there. The food and beverages on offer were hot dogs, hamburgers, macaroni salad, uh, peanuts, popcorn, sodas, and beer. I've included a shot of Mount Rainier at dusk in the distance. My only complaint would be the hard metal chairs, which were actually okay for the first hour, but for a full nine innings... Uh, not so much, and I really should have anticipated that. So if there's ever a next time, I'll be sure to bring along a comfy cushion. And if there was slight disappointment over not hearing the theme from the natural play for every hit, well, that's my fault for having watched that movie too many times. Yeah, I like a good baseball film. Uh, the Bad News Bears, A League of Their Own, Eight Men Out, and Moneyball. I think that generally people want to root for something, and they put a lot of emotion into their chosen cause. Of course, watching Gina Davis abandon her Rockford Peaches teammates just before the World Series was a huge blow. And a few years later, I also watched the 1995 Seattle Mariners' first ever postseason end in their own house, while proving that, despite made-up movie mythology, there absolutely is crying in baseball. I suppose I should relate the one memory I have of playing the game in childhood. Firstly, I was never athletic. So I was the cliched last chosen kid, which meant that I never had an opportunity to shine in that sphere. But I do remember a momentary thrill as I once managed to make solid contact with my bat to the ball. 
I say momentary, because it was a line drive right back to the pitcher, who was also the instructor, who oh so casually caught it. I get it. He didn't want to get nailed in the chest. But did he have to then shrug his shoulders as if to say, eh, sue me? It was spirit-crushing, sure, but it also saved me from having to run. I, like Elijah Wood in the faculty, think that a person should run only if they're being chased. Plus, I'm positive my run was embarrassing as heck. Maybe not like Hugh Grant in Mickey Blue Eyes, but close enough. Sorry about the occasional glare, but my options were limited, and besides, it wasn't my decision to print this stuff on glossy paper. In future, make better choices, South Sound magazine. I was pleased, however, that they chose Burger Soul as best food truck in their best of 2022 issue. That's S-E-O-U-L. They serve Korean-slash-American fusion burgers and fries. I've had their bulgogi gur, and it was fabulous. The magazine also chose Spanky's as best burger place. Can't argue with that. Although it's been a while, I recall their bacon cheeseburger made me very happy. Beer connoisseurs may recognize that logo. It's been tweaked a bit, but it's still very close to the Rainier Brewing Company's capital R. Which begs the question, was the Tacoma Rainiers named after the mountain or the beer? Well, I found an article by Paul Caputo on sportslogos.net that provides an answer. It gets a bit complex, but he boiled it down to, quote, They're a team named for another team, named for a brewery, named for a mountain, named for a naval officer who died more than 200 years ago, unquote. Yeah, that's the short version. Article is linked in the description. It's the height of summer here and a bit early to see spiders inside the house, but I've thwacked, sorry, taken care of five or six over the last couple of weeks. Most have been small, but last night's was a big one. I do occasionally dream of spiders, not enough to indicate I'm phobic, a normal amount, I think. But I really don't like those dreams. In fact, I'll take a zombie dream over a spider one. What I don't get is, why don't I ever dream of wasps? Thankfully, we haven't had a problem recently. But there was a period when they made our backyard their home. Then there was that horror movie I once watched called Stung, about giant mutated wasps. And just the other day, my character was attacked six times in one session on my Animal Crossing island. There should be some nook miles for that, yeah? But in my dream world, it's like those vicious flying terrors don't even exist. Go figure. For those who may not be aware, on the Inkworks homepage, there's a community tab where I occasionally post notices, usually concerning upcoming videos and whatnot. So if you'd like to be in the loop on all things Inkworks, keep an eye on posts there. If you've got this channel's notifications set to all, that should be super easy. Admittedly, I did not post a teaser for this video, uh, because my collage content isn't as hot as the watercolor and fountain pen stuff. And that's okay, as it's more of a relaxation thing for myself. I'd considered not sharing this activity on the channel, but producer Mike insists that if it's creative, it should go up. 
sometime in the future, I plan to rearrange the workspace to hopefully include the second-hand wooden drop-down desk we picked up six months ago. It would make a, a nice setting for these collage sessions, I think. I'm happy to share this creative session. I've been wanting to do this one for a long time, and luckily I came across that May-June 2022 issue of South Sound magazine with its full-page Tacoma Rainier's ad. There's a link for the e-version of that, too. Look, I haven't got a clue if anyone uses those links, but they're there in the description, just in case. It's not often one gets a free dinner and a show, so those days tend to stand out. Oh, and our team won the game. Until next time, stay artsy, my friends.